My name is Jeff Curry with HMY Yacht Sales. I'm here aboard the 2002 65 Viking called Maverick. It's very well appointed with a lot of Viking options. So come aboard, let me show you around. The Maverick is equipped with a custom teak deck, teak roll covering boards. It also has a blue water fighting chair. It has two in deck live wells, and then it has the fish box that can be accessed from either side. It has the Viking option, which we call the transom fish box. This fish box is used for storing additional supplies, or more commonly, if you were fishing, you might put smaller fish in here, like yellowtail or smaller dolphin. So it's just a very nice, useful option. Over here, this is a Viking option. It's called the transom uh, gate with the door. The main feature here is the first owner built a custom dive ladder that inserts right here like a pool ladder. So it's very easy to get on and off the boat when in the water. As we come around over here, we have additional storage here, cleaning supplies, fishing tackle. You can put your plastic boxes, however you want to do it. You've got additional storage here that you can use however you want. Uh, it does have two additional that I'll show you for custom bait trays. Also has the traditional uh, refrigerated step box for your drinks. Uh, this is your engine room access. You'll notice the exterior coating on the boat. It was recently painted, so that's why it shows so well. Uh, down here in the engine room, you've got a pair of Caterpillar 3412, 1400 horsepower each. And these are the electronic engines, so they have the electronic Caterpillar displays. They were just recently overhauled, so they have zero hours on them. You've got twin Onan generators. Uh, one's a 27.5, one's a 21 and either generator will run any of the options on the boat. No need to run both at the same time. You also have uh, two water maker systems. I believe they're 600 gallons a piece. So again, the boat did not miss a Viking option when outfitted. Just port of the engine room access, we have a fish rigging station. We also have what we call your tackle drawers. As you can see, they're all cleared out so they're ready for their next owner. You have a fish box here, cockpit freezer fish box, mainly for bait. Uh, I had mentioned, and this boat has two of refrigerated or freezer step boxes, depending on how you want to set the temperature. Moving a little bit more to port here is the other one. So the idea is you've got plenty of places to put your rig baits. There's no need to put additional coolers on the deck. They might be in the way when you're fishing. Now let's go inside and see the accommodations. All right, let's come aboard inside the Maverick. This boat is extremely comfortable. Uh, you notice the port here, you've got a huge U-shaped couch. There's storage underneath all of the couch. You've got your electric panel here that's up, easy to get to. You've got a pop-up TV here. You've got a Kenmore Elite uh, ice machine here for drinks. Uh, to starboard here, you've got your uh, dinette and comfortably seats six people. Uh, as we come into the galley here, it's appointed with the Antico Teak and Holly flooring. What's nice about this flooring is it will last forever. It's, it's very durable. You've got six uh, under counter refrigerators. Uh, typically, four of them are refrigerator and two or freezer. Over here you've got a, a nether sub panel. The reason Viking puts this sub panel in is so that the electrical components in the forward part of the boat can be accessed here and it doesn't make the uh, main breaker panel so complex. Got a sink. The sink supported with a Kenmore garbage disposal. You've got a microwave convection oven here. Moving away from the sink, you've got a Kenmore trash compactor. And then above the Kenmore trash compactor, you've got these huge pull-out drawers. That is a great Viking feature. You actually have two sets. You have one here and one in this cabinet here. So you have a total of four drawers. Uh, underneath this part of the Corian countertop, you've got a three burner cooktop. And if you want these panels easily stored below where you've got additional storage. 
Viking never lacks any storage. Also here to the starboard, you've got additional pull-out drawers. You've got a total of three uh, and some additional dried storage here. All right, let's go downstairs and look at the accommodations. As we go down the companionway steps, got a handrail here, and then also you should note additional storage here to the port as well. One nice feature on this 65 Viking is you've got a full-size washer and dryer. You've got linen storage here as well for uh, your soaps, your towels, any of your cleaning supplies. As we walk forward here in the boat, you, to starboard here would be considered a, uh, a guest head with a stall shower. As we move a little bit forward, you've got starboard stateroom here with under and over berths, very well appointed. Moving a little farther down here, we've got the master stateroom. This would be considered our king size bed for Viking boats. You've got two closets, his and hers. This bed lifts up, you've got storage underneath it. This closet here is extremely big. You can see that it goes quite a ways back. Got your uh, surround sound system in this uh, being the master stateroom and you have your own control right there. You've got reading lights on both his and her side. Uh, you've got a Samsung TV, DVD player. You've got more drawers here. And then you've got one more uh, small uh, double door closet for some storage. Got a couple more drawers. Again, Viking does not lack any place for storage. What's nice as you come into the master stateroom head is this has a one piece shower door. Very big shower, easily a guy 6'4 could step in there and have plenty of room. Got a vacuum flush head system. As we leave the stateroom and uh, move forward, we'll be entering our VIP. This comes with a queen forward. Each stateroom has its own suite head. So you've got the full shower, sink, and vacuum flush toilet system as well. You've got built-in TV. You have your own air conditioning control. You've got your own stereo control here as well. And you've got more than ample storage. You've got more storage over here to the port. And this bed lifts up as well, and you have storage underneath it. All right, let's move aft. We've got one more stateroom to show you. Uh, back here by the starboard right before you go up the stairs. So come on with me. All right, as we work our way back towards the galley, we have one more stateroom to starboard. Down two stairs here. Sometimes we call this a crew stateroom. Has its own uh, climate control in here. You have uh, closets and you also have storage under the berth as well. The cabin also has its own ensuite head with its own shower and full facilities. All right, we finished the interior of this vessel, so let's go take a look at the bridge and see how well appointed it is. Keep in mind, uh, custom pipe welders, tuna tower. The tuna tower helm station is very well outfitted with a full set of controls and much more. As we come onto the bridge, you'll see it's appointed with two blue water helm chairs. It's got seven rod holders that go across the back. As I come forward here, you've got three screens. This vessel is equipped with a Fruna radar. It's a 120 nautical mile radar. It also has a Fruno 1200L bottom machine. Uh, you've got two screens here. They're both uh, Fruno. They will display your GPS. You also can um, switch the display to uh, do the radar if you wanted to. You've got the two uh, 3412E electronic Caterpillar displays. Here it'll show RPMs and tell you all your loads and fuel consumption, quite a bit of information. This is your digital depth and this is your autopilot. You got uh, single lever controls, you've got a VHF mic, um, you've got an ACR uh, spotlight here. These are just your Viking controls, switches to start, stop the boat. 
As we move forward here on the bridge, you can see it's got ample seating. Uh, we're on the starboard side here. Underneath this starboard side seating, it has additional storage that can be used for rod storage or whatever you'd like to store. As we move a little bit um, forward, you've got a, uh, a sink that you can use to wash your hands or whatever you need. Um, this is access to the air conditioning. This is just uh, additional storage. As we come around over here, you've got this big L-shaped seating. Behind the seating is a, a great feature on both the 61 and 65 is bridge freezer and bridge refrigeration. Again, if you wanted to set that refrigeration to freezer, you could, but most people uh, set that up for drinks and most people use this for your um, provisioning of the boat uh, with frozen foods. And now we're back into the cockpit. Uh, notice that we have put out the cushions. This adds to cockpit seating on either the port or starboard side. Well, that pretty much covers most of the important features on this really nice boat. Thanks again for joining me on this tour of the 2002 65 Viking called Maverick. If you got any questions, my name is Jeff Curry with HMI Yacht Sales. If I can be of any assistance, please don't hesitate to give me a call.